Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com. So today I really want to talk to you about having a vision for your life. So first of all, why would you even bother? Well, here's the thing, when you don't have a vision for your life, your life can end up very messy very, very quickly. Now I have experienced this first hand, so take it from me. Uh, don't fall into the traps that I have. You know, I'm here to share with you the wisdom that I've learned. And uh, being in my late 20s now, um, I would seriously recommend that you spend some time to really think about what it is you want out of life. Now, if you're anything like me, that's a real struggle. I'm quite an adaptable, a flexible person and um, just very, very difficult to know what I want. I want the best for everyone else, really. And I've never truly learned to control my mind or to think kind of selfishly almost to have a vision for myself. So how on earth do you go about that? Well, there's several ways. Um, my mentors taught me to write down what your ideal day is, your average ideal day. Um, but there are other ways as well. So Dean Graziosi, the multimillionaire, he recommends to um, write down if you could look back and you've had the best year ever, what that would look like. That works as well. And um, But I have done it sort of the, the typical way, the, the ideal day, your average ideal day way. Um, and I just want to share that with you now. So for me, I've written... In the morning, I wake up around 7.30, I get out of bed, I pop to the toilet and get back where I stay until 8am. I like a little bit of a lion, um, but I'm a bit lazy. So 8am, I get out and I see if my mum's awake. I go downstairs, open the curtains and bring her a cup of tea. We talk for a short while and I go and get a shower and I get dressed. I pop into the front room and I practice reflection and also gratitude for 30 minutes and I go on a run for 20 minutes as well. I believe that it's very important to get out there in the morning and the way you wake up and what you think when you're in that uh, state of mind where you've just waken up is so important. Practicing gratitude is a great way to start to have a great day. There's so many things we are grateful for um, and should be grateful for, you know, fresh water. Some people walk miles a day to get filthy water that's going to kill them. Um, we've got food, we've got clothes, we've got light. We've got people around us who speak the same language as us. We're not in prison. We're not um, sort of uh, harassed or um, criminalised because of our culture or, or who we are. Um, we're not, you know, due to have the death sentence put on us. We, we ha you know, a lot of us um, haven't got long-term illnesses or illnesses that will take us away from our friends and family, some of us do, which is why it's even more important maybe to have a vision of what you want. Um, don't wait until that point to get serious about your life. So I then uh, come back and join my mum for breakfast and I have a quick shower and I change my clothes. I then sit at my desk and envision today. I work for two hours before having a break and then another two hours before lunch. I have lunch with my mum and then at lunch, after that I do some work from the three till about 3 or 4 p.m., sorry. And after that, I meditate and have a snack. I'll then do a video for the next day and upload it on what I've learned that day, it's something that I've got to share. And after that, I um, sort of just edit that video a little bit, watch TV um, for a little while before I go and prepare tea, prepare tea with my mum, and then we'll relax in the evening, maybe go out um, with friends and family, and then I'm in bed for about... Well, about nine o'clock, practice this gratitude for half an hour and then I'm, I'm going to sleep at half nine, ready for the next day, get my sleep in. So really, I just want you to um, hopefully use that as a bit of inspiration. There wasn't anything amazing in that day. I wasn't going, oh my God, I'm going to Disneyland Paris or um, Ibiza or whatever. This is your average ideal day, guys. And as I say, the reason it's so important to have that is because I never want you to hit a point like I did this morning where I was like, oh my God, I'm, you know, almost coming to, you know, the, towards the end, end few years of being in my 20s and I haven't created my life the way I want it. And there's people out there who are a lot older than me um, who, who haven't created their life and it's never, ever, ever too late. Start now. So if you enjoy these videos, by the way, do feel free to subscribe. Um, I do try and bring out a few videos every week to help you live your best life. Um, starting a business for me has brought me so many insights and reflections and things I've learned about myself to put the right foundations in place, whether you have a business or not, to really live a life that you want to live and that is serving you, not serving others or doing things that we think we have to do, um, which is the path I've followed so far. 
So I do hope that's helped. As I say, do subscribe, hit comment below. There's a whole group of us out there who are wanting to live our best lives, so let's help each other. And of course, hit the bell to get all the latest video alerts. They're totally free. You don't have to watch all of them, but I do hope they help. That's all from me, and I'll see you next time. You take care. Bye now.